Hi, hey, sexy Jay. Quick and dirty time, yet again, transition series because you guys need to do these and you guys asked for it. Okay, so this is the last video on the transitions with the contrast because I am covering everything with the contrast. But if you feel that I'm missing something, please leave a comment and I'll address it again. So we have here, you can see, right, I kept this uh, transition advanced text to show you guys, yes, these are advanced questions from Khan Academy. So we have these two questions. Now, they are not advanced in terms of us figuring out the contrast or the lack of contrast. But just like in the previous video, it's, I feel like none of these words work because none of these words sound like a contrast, right? So if you guys remember uh, the previous video, we had the word ultimately. That doesn't sound like a contrast. So why is it a contrast question? But that one, we had the word ultimately though. So that one's a little different, but this one is these words here, Can I zoom in? No, I'm not allowed to zoom in, but that's fine. You guys can see it, right? So these words here, this one, you guys don't see what I'm circling because I'm personally not circling, but there is one that is a contrast, but you're not thinking of it that way. That's both of these questions are very similar. So let's look at the question on the left first because we should go left to right. So we see here that the study found that greater the iconicity of a sign, the more likely it was to have uh, been learned. The correlation between acquisition and iconicity was lower. Okay, so we have, so they, have a, um, they have a relationship. But it's, oh my God, my handwriting, lower than something else. So I like to think about SAT questions in these very vague terms. So we have, Okay, the greater the iconicity, the more likely it was to have been learned. So they found some type of trend or a relationship, which they do all the time, right, on these uh, research passages. But something else is better, right? So I found this relationship, but it's lower than something else. So you see how naturally, if I do, I found a relationship, it's lower than something else. It's naturally, sounds like a contrast, because they discovered something, but it wasn't as strong as other stuff. Okay, cool, that's a contrast. And because it's a contrast, I cannot do in fact. In fact is an emphasis of the point that I made before. And as a result, I cannot do because that is also a cause and effect, which is not a contrast at all. That's a whole separate category. So here, this is a trap. How many of you were really tempted to put in other words? Because that feels like a contrast, right? In other words is not a contrast. In other words is I'm going to say the same thing just using different words. So I'm still making the same point, so not a contrast. Now we are down to granted which is the only one left. So you can say, oh, could I answer it like that? Yeah, sure, by elimination, which is a tool we use all the time. But I'm doing these videos, I might as well tell you what these words mean. That's why I'm choosing these. There are certain words, like here, that are contrast, but you don't really think of them that way, okay? So the word granted, if I use that as a transition, that means like I am kind of giving in to the other side a little bit, okay? So like, granted, it is not the cheapest option, but I still think we should go for it because they have the best quality, right? So that's how we normally use, we use it in the beginning, but it is still used when I set up a contrast. That's how I use granted. So that's the answer here. They found this pattern, granted the other pattern was stronger, and the, if I were writing this in a real life setting, I would go on to say, this is how it go. They found the pattern, granted other patterns are stronger, but still this was an important finding. So the difficulty comes in that last sentence, but still, this is an important finding. It's not here, they didn't provide it for you. So it's unnatural. It is very unnatural to end the passage here. But what are we gonna do about it, right? That's just the SAT for you. So um, take that similar approach. You can pause the screen or whatever and try to do the question on the right. The sun and the other stars, blah, blah, blah. I don't need to read the text, right? Okay, so you guys have probably figured out, okay, Jay said this is a contrast question, so it cannot be more over because that's the same thing as like additionally. And for this reason is, again, going with the same idea and specifically is still going in the same direction. There is no contrast, there is no switching. So by elimination, this answer here is C. That said is very similar vibe as granted. It's another one of those words that is a contrast, but it doesn't feel contrasty because in public school or writing classes, we just use however all the time. That said is 
yeah, I know I just said that, but now I'm going to go against it. Okay. So say, using similar examples as before. Yeah, that place is pretty expensive. That said, they do have the best quality. So we should go there. That type of argument. So the answer here is that said. Now, if we do look at the um, content of the question, which, you know, you don't really have to do too much. Mm. This was pretty common as well. They have long believed this has potential, but prior to December 22, no fusion reaction had ever generated net energy gain. That content also is used a lot for the contrast questions on the SAT, which is for a long time, scientists believed this, or we suspected this, or we thought this was the case. However, but we failed to get evidence for it. So that type of contrast is the one here. And again, the difficulty here is in that the that said doesn't feel like a contrast because people have this like, idea in their heads that contrast should sound negative for some reason. They don't have to be. Contrast doesn't have to be negative at all. Okay. So our answer here is C, that said. Answer here is C, granted. So once I identify that it is a contrast, do keep an open mind on what a contrasting word or transition phrase sound like. If you're unsure what a transition does, leave it alone and get rid of the obviously non-contrasting ones first, like as a result over here, or in fact, or moreover, and things like that. And keep an open mind on the words that may or may not be a contrast. In fact, see, I'm going with the same direction, no contrast there. If you guys have questions on, Jay, I'm not sure how to use this transition specifically. Like, I'm not quite sure what category this transition falls into leave comments on this very video. So whatever comments you leave on this video with a transition, I will get to them, whether in a comment form or shorts or a, another quick and dirty, whatever it is, I will get to it for you guys. So please do leave a comment on any transition you're not clear about, okay? So we're going to go on from this transition contrast topic. Oh, and the other thing, if you guys have a specific topic you wanna see covered next, leave that in the comments as well and we'll make our schedule accordingly. Thanks for watching. Study every day with who? Sexy J. That's the best way. You already know. Bye-bye.